Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Kat. So for today's video, I am doing my Halloween apartment tour and I'm very excited about that. As you guys know, Halloween is my favorite holiday. So I'm just really excited to share with you guys um, all of my decor items. And um, just keep in mind, I did mention this in my Halloween um, haul, haul video that um, a lot of items I purchased last year um, this year I purchased very very little items just because of what's going on in the world and also just because like I said I went a little crazy last year and just purchased a lot of things and I do live in a small apartment um, It's I mean it's not super small for a one-bedroom apartment, but it is an apartment So there's not a lot of space to decorate. There's only so much I can really um, You know so much I can really do so um, Just keep that in mind because I know maybe you guys might be interested in some of the items that I bought I will link below as many any items as I can if they're still available but please keep in mind that a lot of items I did purchase last year and unfortunately they're just not gonna be available this year but I'm sure um, if you guys do a Google search you might be able to find something um, either the same item or something similar hopefully so all right guys enough rambling and let's get started all right guys so we are starting off on my shelves um, I usually don't really decorate these uh, for any holiday. I think I might have just placed maybe like a heart garland for Valentine's, um, if I'm not mistaken. I think I did that and maybe some rabbits for the spring, but I never really fully decorate this. And um, I just thought, I don't know, the idea just came to me to just decorate my shelves for Halloween and I really love the way they came out. So on the top shelf, I have this jack-o'-lantern, which I got this years ago at Michael's. You guys probably see these every year. It's it's a ceramic um, jack-o'-lantern and I had actually um, painted this pink a long time ago and um, obviously the pink wasn't gonna really go with my decor everything in my living room was black and white for Halloween so I just went ahead and painted him white again but I really didn't do the best job as you can see it was a bit of a rush job and I kind of regretted it because it looked really pretty you know painted in pink and I sure in the future I could probably use that pink pumpkin I should have just gone out to Michaels and just bought another one because they're not that expensive but Unfortunately, I didn't get a chance and this is what I did, but you could barely tell, you know, from far away It looks good and at nighttime you can't tell either um, So yeah, so I just have some um, some of these fairy lights. So as you guys might have remembered um, I I was talking about the um, Fairy lights that I found at the Target dollar spot. No, there's those were more of a warm white color So when I went on Amazon to search for more fairy lights I found uh, two types of lights. I found warm lights and white lights. And I kind of liked the way the white lights looked from the pictures that I saw. So I decided to purchase both of them and I decided to go with the white lights. So all of the starry lights that I have are white. So I actually didn't end up using the ones that I have from Target. However, I did also keep the warm white lights, which I will probably be, not probably, I most I definitely will be using them for Christmas. So I just wanted to make a point of that because the fairy lights that I did show in my video are warm light and all of these are white light which I know it is kind of hard for you guys to see because it is obviously daytime but like I said before make sure to stay tuned until the end of the video um, where you guys can see how the apartment looks at nighttime and you guys can see how cool the white lights look it just looks really good since everything is black and white so on this shelf I have the um, Salem uh, let me just move this pump because you can see the Salem Room Company um, and I actually just placed it on top of this um, I don't know if you guys could see on top of this other picture frame that I have and then I placed two um, candle like heavy candles in the back so it just won't slide off I just wasn't sure how else to place this unfortunately I didn't have an easel anyways and it is kind of high um, so I don't think an easel would have worked anyways because it just wouldn't have fit and this is just a black um, velvety pumpkin that I got from Joann's last year. Um, it has like a black glitter, glitter stem. Alright guys, and on the third shelf, I have this really beautiful lacy white witch's hat. So, um, as I have mentioned before guys, I absolutely love shabby chic and French country. So, when I still lived at home, I actually had my room decorated in that style. Um, and I would also decorate for Halloween, um, you know, with pink pumpkins, white pumpkins, uh, white witch's hats. Uh, nothing, there was no orange, no black, nothing. Everything was white and pink. <laughs> so, I actually contacted this Etsy shop 
shop because um, I had seen these witchy lacy white boots that they made and um, I asked her if she could make a witch's hat as well and she said she could and it was pretty pricey I don't remember how much it was I just remember that it was expensive and I did have to give a deposit and it took about a month for her to make it but the lady who made it was very very kind um, she kept on checking up with me showing me how the process was going so when I finally got the hat she actually included this as a free gift which I thought was so sweet of her it's absolutely beautiful and I will be showing you guys the um, giant witch hat as well because it's huge it is not a hat to wear though it is simply for decor and she made sure to tell me that, that the hat was simply for decor she didn't make it for you to actually wear it on your head and the same with this one as you can see um, it's flat on the bottom so yeah so I just thought it would look really pretty here um, kind of like a callback to when I would only decorate um, super shabby chic and I love it with the you know the flowers in the back okay and over here on the fourth shelf um, I just have you know my books this is always here and then I decided to add the hocus pocus sign here and I have some more of those fairy lights I have fairy lights on all the shelves just FYI and then over here these are all of my um, fall pumpkins uh, that I use for my fall decor so I decided just to place them here on this bottom shelf and then guys over here I have these three real pumpkins um, John and I went to a pumpkin patch um, a few weeks ago we picked these up so um, we've been talking about carving this big guy up over here turning him into a spooky jack-o-lantern but we just haven't had the chance yet all right guys so right next door to the um, shelves is actually our desk area Okay, so over here I have some black leaves and these aren't part of the Michaels Garland that I purchased this year. I purchased these last year also from Michaels, but these are um, sprays there um, in order to make some floral arrangements. And then on top of that, I have placed um, this uh, black velvety pumpkin. It's, a, it's the same one as the one on my shelf that I purchased from Joann's. And then right in front of it, I have this crow. So um, I'm actually gonna link this down below because these are still available. I purchased these last year from Amazon. I believe it was a set of 12, if I'm, if I'm not mistaken. So um, it's just a black crow. I just thought it'd be kind of cool to put it there. And then over here, this is just a foam um, skull that I got from Michaels. You can get them like in a bag, but they're kind of dirty looking and I just painted mine completely white just to make it look more crisp. And of course on the desk, I have the, um, the fairy lights, the white fairy lights. And then right over here, I have the um, haunted books that I showed you guys that I purchased from Lowe's. And those still are available from last I check and I will be um, putting them in the description below if you guys are interested. And I do have another one of the crows just sitting, oh, well, uh, standing right in front of the books. But I'm just gonna show you again. Uh, how these books work. <laughs> so these are just fun. Um, we haven't had any guests come over, um, but we probably will later on this month. And I just think that's gonna be really fun to show them. All right guys, so this is my gallery wall. And I usually have some floral um, sketches in there that are really, really pretty. But I decided to replace those with these spooky um, prints that I got off of Etsy. So these are digital prints. I purchased them and was able to print them out myself. And I will link the um, Etsy shop down below if you guys are interested. And then around my gallery wall, I just have some of these bats that I purchased off of Amazon. And these are still available, so I will be linking them down below if you guys are interested. And on my couch, I just have some black and white velvety pillows. So I will be linking these down below, guys, if you guys are interested. But if you just do an Amazon, an Amazon search for um, white velvet pillows or black velvet pillows, these should pop up. And these are 18 by 18. And over here, I have this pillow. It is also 18 by 18. And this did come in a set. I will show you the other three in a little bit. And it says, something wicked this way comes. Um, it's not the softest pillow guys. This is just purely for decor. It's very rough um, I wish the pack was actually um, Black as well. I wasn't too crazy when I opened the package and I saw that it was two different colors um, But I decided to keep them, you know, they still look nice 
and you know they're just pretty much for decor they're not there to really be soft or to be used for sleeping or anything um, but I'll show you the other three in a little bit and I do know that these are still available so I will be linking them down below alright guys so we are moving on to my beauty area so right over here I have um, this arrangement that I made and all of these are actually from Michaels from last year um, it has a little witch's hat the witch's um, legs <laughs> and this little um, black and white pumpkin set and these really beautiful um, glittery uh, black branches I purchased these all last year from Michaels and I haven't been to Michaels guys like probably since the summertime so I don't know if um, I'm pretty sure they had Halloween um, sprays, but I'm not sure if they had these exact ones. But um, like I said, I'm pretty sure if you guys do a Google search or if you guys actually go to Michaels, you might be able to find something like this um, or something similar. But yeah, I really love this arrangement and I just have it in this um, white pitcher. And these are potion bottles that I purchased last year from Michaels. And I'm actually going to turn it around so you guys could see what they actually look like. So they actually had these in different colors and different um, with different labels. But I was just only looking for black ones. So I purchased all of these. And what I did is I went on Etsy and I purchased some digital um, labels. And I just printed them out on some sticky paper and just placed them on here. I wasn't able to cover it up because these were a lot smaller than this label. So I just turned it around and just um, added that and I really love the way it came out. This is exactly what I was envisioning. So this label says cobweb oil. This one says witch's brew. And this one says poison ivy. And this is just a sign that I always keep here year round. So what I did was just um, add some cobwebs and then some spiders. And I believe I purchased these spiders um, last year at Michael's as well. And over here guys, I have this candelabra that I purchased last year from Michael's and it is electrical so I do have it connected. And you can see the little bulbs here. It's really cool. And then right in front of it, I have this black and white pumpkin that I purchased from Rite Aid actually. Um, last year I just went into a Rite Aid to get some some items that I needed and I was really shocked to see that they actually had like real decor items because usually at a Rite Aid you assume they have just Halloween candy and maybe a few masks or something like that but I just thought this was really really cool I love the fact that it has a black hat on it and it does say boo here and then spooky here and I just felt like this kind of like completed the look you know because I, I feel like this is almost supposed to be kind of like a little witch's work area maybe that's kind of like what i'm thinking in my head and i just think the black cat just looks really cool it reminds me of banks from hocus pocus so over here i have this uh, sign that says flying lessons by appointment only it's really cool it has the uh, witch's broom and i did the i did get this last year from joann's and i could have sworn I saw um, in another YouTube's video where she was just shopping for Halloween decor and uh, she was at a Joann's and I could have sworn I saw this in the video so I'll check um, again if it is available I will list it down below if you guys are interested and right over here I just have the uh, Ouija board pillow cover um, that I purchased off of Amazon so yeah I just have it here on top of my little bench in my beauty area all right guys, so we are moving on to my coffee table. So I'm gonna start over here uh, with this little tree that I got from Michaels last year. And uh, the tree um, came plain, it didn't come with any lights. I did add some of these um, fairy lights on the tree. And uh, like I said, stay tuned until the end of the video so you guys can see how it looks at night. And right in front of the tree, I have these three um, books, which they're actually um, not real books. They're all connected. So it's a decor piece and it says magic potions, charms, and poisons. And again, guys, um, I purchased this last year from Michaels. And I believe I saw on their website that they were selling these um, still this year. 
So I'll try to link it below if it is available. And um, again, I love the fact that it was black and white. I just think it goes perfect with my decor. And look how cool this is. I just, I love the, <laughs> the skull and the design, the scrolling all around. Just really, really pretty. And this is just one of the uh, cauldron candles that um, that's from the Target dollar spot, but that I purchased from McCary. Um, I mentioned this in my decor haul, so it just works out perfectly. Uh, last year I just had like a little regular tea light, so this is perfect. I haven't turned it on just because um, my coffee table is directly below <laughs> my ceiling fan, so it's just gonna blow the candle off. But um, but yeah, I just love the way it looks. And then right next to that, I have this really cool um, statue or bust. I think it's the correct term is a bust. And I did purchase this from Amazon. Um, I'm not sure if this is still available. I will check. If it is, I will link it below. And I did purchase this last year, and I really just purchased it for the sole purpose of adding a witch's hat to it and just turning it into a really cool, elegant uh, witch decor. So the hat is actually, I'm gonna show you, I have scotch tape on her head. This is how she looks. And she's actually a really beautiful bust, guys. Um, I feel like you could use this all year round if you, if you wanted to. I just um, don't really have a, a space for her um, other than Halloween. Maybe when I get a bigger place, I will have a space for her, but I just think she's really beautiful and she wasn't that expensive. I think she might have been like $30, I'm not sure. And then this witch's hat is, I believe, from Rite Aid as well. And it was attached to a headband, which I, you can see that's the glue. I um, just ripped it off. <laughs> and just decided to just place some scotch tape here and just place it on top. And I just love the way it looks. And then I just have her sitting on top of this uh, tray. And these again are the leaves from Michael's that I purchased last year. They were um, sprays and I just put them right, I just put her, I placed her right on top. And as you can see, I have more of those um, uh, fairy lights um, there as well. It looks really cool at nighttime. All right, guys, so I purchased this pumpkin last week. It is a Harlequin pattern. I purchased it from an online shop called The Wreath Shop, and I just think it's so beautiful. I was looking for um, some black and white striped pumpkins because um, I had actually purchased uh, striped pumpkins last year, and I was looking for um, another one to put here in this area. But unfortunately, the shop was already sold out, but they did have this pumpkin. It was actually suggested to me, and I absolutely fell in love with it. I purchased it immediately, and I'm just actually really shocked at how fast it got here. I believe I purchased it on Wednesday, and by Saturday, it was here. So I'm really excited about that, and I will be linking it down below if you guys are interested. Now, the pumpkin is sitting on top of these two white book boxes. So I was looking for some really, um, really, beautiful black and white Halloween book boxes last year because I had seen something on Pinterest that supposedly, um, what's that store? Papyrus. Papyrus had been selling, but they were um, sold out online. I contacted the store and they told me that they weren't sure if they were gonna be bringing them back because they had actually been from the previous Halloween. So I decided to just purchase some book boxes myself and I had planned on getting some you know, digital paper in order to cover them up and I never did it, I just painted them white and I kind of like the way it looked. I know it looks a little plain, um, but I like it. I think it's uh, you know really nice. You have the pumpkin on top, you got the two glittery spiders. So I like the way it looks, just nice and plain. We'll see, maybe um, next year or another time, I will go ahead and get some digital paper and maybe I will, um, you know, decorate them a little bit more, but I'm happy with the way they look. And again, guys, um, I purchased these book boxes online. I don't remember the store. I think I just Googled unfinished book boxes and something popped up. Good, It was a good price and I purchased it. And it actually came in a set of three. So there is supposed to be a third book up here and I actually have it in here, just, you know, just hidden. Um, I kind of like the way it looked just with the two books. Um, I felt like putting the third book would have made it too high. So I'm very happy with the way it looks. Here's just another view of my coffee table. All right guys, so here is the big witch's hat that I mentioned before. So I am going to just, you know what? I'm gonna place her on the floor so you guys can get a better view of her. 
she's so pretty so it almost looks kind of bridal <laughs> So I actually used to place this on top of, of a dress form that I had in my bedroom, which um, is still actually at my parents' house. I just don't have any room for it here, but eventually when I move, I'll definitely find a place for it. And in order to place it on top of the head, we had to, uh, my mom actually helped me just cut out a hole here in order to be able to place it. Cause again, like I was, the lady told me, the seller told me it is flat because um, it is supposed to be a decor piece. It's not a hat that you wear. But um, yeah, so I just have her on top of my uh, pillow basket over here. So, um, well actually, let me just show you. So these uh, pillow covers back here, they're just uh, black velvety pillow covers with a little bit of um, palms on top of them all around. These are from Amazon, I will link them down below. And uh, this pillow, I'm just gonna pull it out. Um, I purchased this last year from TJ Maxx. Um, it's black and white and it has um, all of these potion bottles on it and I just thought this was the coolest thing guys when I purchased this last year I thought it was so pretty I believe this might be Nicole Miller I'm not sure but um, yeah I just think it's really beautiful and it is actually the same size as my hate pumpkin or hello pumpkin pink pillow so that's why I think it is from the same company either Nicole Miller or or um, what's the other one, something, Cynthia Raleigh. It's either one of those two. But I actually have the, um, cause this, I, this was the whole pillow that I purchased, but in order to just save room, um, you know, when it comes to storing all this stuff, what I did is I placed the Hay Pumpkin pillow in here. So they're sharing um, a, pillow, a, a pillow insert. So I wouldn't just have like a bunch of pillows all over the place, guys, cause it is hard to store pillows so i always prefer to have pillow covers yeah so i just think it looks really cool and then i just place the witch's hat right on top um i just i really didn't have any other place <laughs> to put the hat and i just really really wanted to display it so i thought um on top of the pillows was a perfect place and right next to my pillow basket i have my chair with this October 31st pillow. And this is from the set that I was telling you guys about, the Amazon set um, of black and white Halloween pillows. So this is one of the other pillows. And it's, again, it's really nice. It's black and white. And it has a webbing on this side and webbing over here. And it says October 31st. And I, I love the way it looks. I think it looks really, really nice. All right guys, so we are moving on to my TV stand. <laughs> I'm just laughing because I'm watching the Gulag. Um, I don't know if you guys have Shudder. Um, I have the subscription through my Amazon Prime account and uh, this is really cool. Have you guys ever heard of the Yule Log, which is the, the log you know, in the fireplace that um, you can put on during Christmas? Shudder has the Gulag and um, it's just really cool it just um you know it blinks and there's sound i obviously have it on mute right now because i am filming the video but if you guys have shutter or if you guys want to try out shutter definitely check that out if you guys are into horror movies um i am trying it out for this month um i'm not sure if i'm going to end up keeping it after halloween but um there were some scary movies that i wanted to check out that were on shutter so i thought you know it's only like 5.95 per month so um yeah so we'll see if i end up keeping it for the rest of uh you know the year <laughs> but um i love i absolutely love the gulag and i thought it was really cool to just you know have it in the background while i film this video all right guys so over here i have my three pillar candles on top of the um candle holders and this is the garland that i purchased off of michael's this year um, as i mentioned i purchased three of these garlands and one of them i cut up and i formed these little i guess you could say crowns or wreaths but I just um, wrap them around using a little bit of wire in order to place them around my candles. And something that I wanted to show you is um, these candles give off, you know, like a sort of RNG yellowish hue, which is they're supposed to replicate what real candles look like. But um, what I did is, like I mentioned, I have um, the white lights all over the apartment. I wanted this to look kind of icy as well, sort of white and icy. So I purchased these uh, white tea light um, candles. And what I did is I took um, the bulbs, little bulbs that were in here on all three of them. 
and I just unscrew them and just pop them right off in order to be able to place this here without it being like all over the place. And that's just a little tidbit. If you have these type of candles, you can just unscrew this and just place it right on top. And I just think it looks really cool. Obviously, it's kind of hard for you guys to see what it looks like right now because it is daytime. But like I said, stay tuned until the end so you guys can see how it looks at nighttime. All right, guys. And right over here, I have this um, black and white pumpkin. And this is, um, I believe it's from the same shop where I got the Harlequin pumpkin that's on my coffee table. Um, I purchased this last year and I just I cannot remember where I purchased it but when I found the Harlequin pumpkin um, the shop did look familiar and they did have a pumpkin that looked exactly like this one but it was sold out so I'm assuming that is where I got it last year but unfortunately it, it is sold out this year and one thing that I didn't mention um, this pumpkin and the Harlequin pumpkin they're very light um, as you could see they're more of a styrofoam material and they are very glittery. So this is kind of like glittery styrofoam. And then this is just um, like black ribbon that has been placed on top. And I kind of like the fact that they are very lightweight and um, made out of styrofoam because it does make it easier to store. You don't have to worry about it breaking. Um, and I, I think it looks really nice. Um, I don't think it looks cheap at all. And I like the, the price too, it wasn't that expensive. So I like that as well. Okay, and right next to it, I have another one of those crows that I got off of Amazon. And then over here, I have this um, sort of like oil slick um, skull that I purchased from the Dollar Tree last year. And um, I actually purchased two black ones and two white ones. I have the two white ones in the kitchen. You guys will see those in a little bit. And then over here, I have this skull. Um, it's like a sort of plasticky skull that I got from Target last year. From the tar it wasn't the Target dollar spot, but it was only $5. Um, I believe it was from their um, uh, Hide and Eek boutique. <laughs> um, so yeah, I purchased this last year and I purchased quite a few of these um, because they were so cheap and I just thought that I could just use them all around the house, but I actually only ended up using like two of them <laughs> so I have a bunch of these but it's cool I'm pretty sure in the future I can um, do something else with them and then I actually just took um, one of those um, glittery spiders that I got from Michaels last year and I glued it on top of its head just to make it look even more spooky and right next to it I just have a candle holder with one of those white tea lights and then right over here I just have the same setup um, just one of the um, skulls with the crows, the black skulls. I have another one of the pumpkins. Um, I actually purchased two of those. Have another one of these. And over here I have another pitcher um, with um, some sprays. And these guys, I don't remember where I purchased these. I purchased these last year. They definitely weren't from Michaels. Um, because when I went to Michaels to try to find uh, more of these sprays to make another witchy arrangement Unfortunately, there just weren't any more left at least in black and white So I went online and I was able to find this and as you can see these aren't really witch hats They, they look almost like I don't know um, Like Mad Hatter hats if that makes sense like a Mad Hatter and these aren't pumpkin they're just black and white like little balls <laughs> and then back here I have like these um, black cat sprays but I just thought um, putting it all together it would look good I'm really happy with the way it looks um, yes these aren't witch hats but I still think it looks really really cool I love the color obviously the black and white and I just think it looks really really nice um, what I would suggest you guys do is just maybe Google Halloween sprays I think that's what I did last year and I was able to to find a store that sold them all right guys and here is another one of the halloween pillow covers and this one just says happy halloween and it just has some webbing and some white bats and i have to be honest with you it's not my favorite one i wish the happy halloween was in script but it came with the set so i decided to use it um you know put all together it looks pretty cool but i would have preferred if the writing was in script all right guys and this is how it looks at a distance oh and right above I have this happy Halloween garland that I got from Target last year it wasn't from the Target dollar spot I believe it was from Hide and Eek and um, all around it I have placed some of those um, 
black spiders, those paper spiders that I got from the Target Dollar Spot this year. And it actually works out perfectly just because the garland um, does have spider webs on it and spiders. So yeah, it looks really, really cool. I love the way it looks. And right over here on my uh, big, super big chair, <laughs> I have the very last um, Halloween uh, pillow cover that came in the set. And this one says trick or treat and it has white bats on it. And you see, I love the way this one looks. I love the script. I wish the, um, the one that I just showed you a little while ago also was in script. So they're all in script. I don't understand why that one wasn't in script <laughs> so that's my only complaint about that one but either way it's still a pretty good set um and i'm happy with it and right over here on my living room door i have this um sort of spooky branchy uh, wreath that i believe i got this from joann's and i've also seen a similar one at target in their hide and eat boutique and I was actually very pleasantly surprised when I purchased this that it lit up. I don't think I realized that when it when I purchased it that it was actually a pre-lit wreath. And when I saw that it lit up, I was so happy. Um, it's like a purplish color and I think it looks really, really cool. It looks so much cooler in person, guys, than it does on screen. I wish you guys could see what it really looked like in person. But um, but either way, I love, I love the way it looks. And then what I did is I actually purchased this uh, digital print from Etsy from an Etsy shop last year and what I did is that I used some Mod Podge to put it on top of this uh, wooden little like wooden plank um, and then I just took some black paint and just kind of just like sponged it on all around and then just kind of did like a few little like very light swipes to kind of distress it a bit and I love the way it looks and you know it says October 31st um, and I got this off of Etsy. I think I, I mentioned that. So I will link it down below if you guys are interested in purchasing this print. All right, guys. So here is an overview of how everything looks. I don't think I've ever filmed from this angle of my living room. So I thought I would try it right now. It is starting to get a little bit dark. Um, the sun is starting to set. It is, I believe, past um, 4.30. So yeah, so it, the sun is going to start to set right now. But as you can see, as it gets darker, you guys can start seeing how the twinkle lights look. But don't worry, I am going to show you once it's uh, super dark here in the living room. So you guys can check that out. But, um, but yeah, I really love the way everything looks. And I hope you guys um, are enjoying this video so far. All right guys, and here is um, just my, um, my end table next to my couch. And I do have another one of these um, arrangements in a pitcher. And these are all from Michaels. Uh, the one back here I did purchase this year. And I did show this in my haul video last week. And these are just glittery branches. Um, again, this is all from Michaels. And I did purchase this one last year, this um, Black Cat Spray, but they did have this um, this year as well because I did purchase another one online. So this still might be available. And then um, over here, I just have this black and white striped pumpkin that I purchased from the Target Dollar Spot last year. And just here's another one of those um, Black Crows uh, that I got from Amazon. And here is one of the... Um, uh, cauldron candles that I purchased off Mercari, but they are from the Target Dollar Spot. And this is the one that smells the best. Uh, this one is supposed to be um, spelled Bound Mimosa, I believe. And it does smell really good. However, I have already burned it a few times. And um, although it smells really good when you, you know, when you smell it, um, as it's burning, it doesn't really smell like anything. But again, you know, this is a Target Dollar Spot candle, so <laughs> um, you shouldn't really be expecting that much from you know something that cost only three dollars but either way i think it looks great um i think this whole little setup here looks really really cute and i'm really happy with it all right guys so we are moving on to my bar cart so um if you guys are following me on instagram 
um, then you probably saw that I did have a little um, girly Halloween birthday get together for my mom um, since her birthday is in October and um, I actually just really ended up loving the way um, this bar cart came out so I decided just to switch off the um, happy birthday garland to happy Halloween and just leave it girly I just think it looks really really cute um, and I'm really really happy with it uh, the only thing is the balloons have deflated a bit um, and these over here they pretty much fell um, fell down the very next day so um, as I said um, if you aren't following me on Instagram please make sure you do I am at cat 718 underscore so what you guys can do is go to the highlights and check out all of the stories that I did on that day of the get-together so you guys can see the balloons when they were still floating you guys could see the happy birthday garland and also check out the cake and it's cake topper um, I just really love the way this came out and I just thought it would just be nice just to leave it you know um, set up for Halloween just do like a bit of a girly Halloween you know why not um, I am a, a bit of a girly girl so I thought why not have at least one um, part of my apartment be a little bit girly for Halloween and I will link down below um, where I got the balloons where I got the um, garland um, the arrangement over here these sprays are from Michaels and these I did purchase this year so these still might be available if you guys are interested and then over here I just have a um, wine bottle that I painted black and this is a wine stopper that I purchased last year from Pottery Barn I believe and this is just a label that I purchased from um, Etsy and I just printed it out on some sticky paper and um, this is actually a tray that I got from the Target Dollar Spot last year. It is a Ouija board tray. And I got this cookie jar from, the, uh, from Target as well last year. And I believe they have something similar this year. The only thing is that I'm not crazy about it is that it's more of a beige color. Um, this is pure white, which I love. The one this year is like sort of like a yellowish color. So I wasn't too crazy about it. But if you guys are interested in getting... Um, you know this cookie jar they do have something similar available this year as well so this is a sign that I purchased last year at home goods and I actually wanted to place it up there above the door where that other sign is but this is just it's very heavy and I just I just wasn't sure how to put it up there on the ledge it would have fallen off I could have also have placed a hook there and hung it but I decided at the end just to kind of put it on top of my little entry bench that we have here. And um, I love the way it looks. And then I added um, the little fairy lights as well. So this hallway is always pretty much dark just because there aren't any windows. So you guys are already getting an idea of how the uh, white fairy lights look. All right guys, so we are here in my kitchen and this is my dining table. And as you can see, it is getting dark. So you can see the, the um, fairy lights are starting to pop out a little bit more. I am gonna turn on my box light because I do wanna just um, have you guys be able to see all of the details. Um, so I do need a little bit more light here. So over here, I have another um, arrangement in a pitcher. And uh, all of these are from Michaels from last year. And I absolutely love this moon one. Um, I really lucked out finding this one. There was only one left when I got it. And I intertwined it with the um, black cat, so, or with Binks, Binks from Hocus Pocus. And I love the way it looks. And then back here, I just have more of the glittery um, black branches. And then I just have a little um, uh, pumpkin, black and white pumpkin um, arrangement over here. And then, um, everything is sitting on top of this uh, Hocus Pocus tray that I got from the Target Dollar Spot last year. And um, it works out perfectly because I got Binks over here and then I got this really cool sign that says I put a spell on you, which works out perfectly because that is a song that the witches sing in the movie. So I was so excited when I found this sign. And actually on the other side, it says Happy Halloween. So um, what I do is I keep it out um throughout the season i keep it like this and then on halloween i'll you know flip it over and i got this last year from burlington style and when i purchased it 
the sides um, were all uh, orange, which looked nice. The black and white with the orange actually looked really nice. But again, you know me, <laughs> um, I'm trying to stick with just um, uh, two colors. So I went ahead and just put some painter's tapes on the edges and I painted this black and I love the way it came out. And then right here in the middle, I have this uh, pumpkin cookie jar and it is black and white stripe. And I believe I got this from Bed Bath & Beyond. And um, I got this last year. I don't know if this is still available, but if it is, I will definitely link it down below. And then right over here, I have these uh, two skulls. And these are from the Dollar Tree and they are the exact same size as the black ones that I showed you a little while ago on top of my TV stand. And they're, they're glass and they're shiny. They're really, really cute. I wish I would have purchased uh, more of these. And um, I think I might head to my local Dollar Tree and see if I can find more of these. But um, yeah, I really, really love the way these look. I love the way the whole setup looks. I'm gonna turn off the light. So I could do a, ooh, <laughs> so I could do a little overview, and it obviously is going to look even cooler at nighttime. All right, guys. So here is my kitchen counter, and we're going to start off over here with this digital print that I got off of Etsy, and it says "Witches Brew." I'm sorry, I'm getting a little bit of a glare. Um, okay, so it says "Witches Brew." and it has a bubbling cauldron and it says handcrafted sip at your own risk <laughs> so i just think that's really really cute um and right next to it i just have um this pumpkin it's a real pumpkin that all i did was just paint white i just wanted a nice crisp white pumpkin and then above my coffee maker i have another um just a real pumpkin that i painted white all right guys i turned on my box light so you guys could see a little bit better um, so over here I have the, um, I guess you could call this a mantle, I think that's what it is, a witch's mantle that I purchased this year from the Target Dollar Spot. And what I did is I took one of the cauldron candles and I just added some of this um, Easter filler, um, since it's green, just to make it look like it's a bubbling cauldron. Um, and I added some of the twinkle lights on the inside and I just love the way this came out. I think it looks so cute. And then right in front of it, I just placed these two, um, I guess you can call these meal cups or meal mugs that I purchased last year from the Target Dollar Spot. And so this one has like a scary, I guess you could say a scary um, jack-o'-lantern face. This one has a happy jack-o'-lantern face. And um, right inside here, I have, these are um, drink stirrers. And this one is, if I can get it to focus, let me see if I put it against the white background, there we go, um, is a scorpion. I thought it was a spider at first, but it's actually a scorpion. And then this one is a gold beetle. And these were all last year from the uh, Target dollar spot. And um, they're just really here for decor. We don't use them for anything. Um, and these are also last year from the Target dollar spot and they're just little um, wooden um, witch brooms and they're also drink stirrers as well. All right guys, so that is the end of my video. I really hope you guys enjoyed it. Please make sure to give it a big thumbs up and also comment down below. Let me know which decor item was your favorite. Um, also, if you haven't done so already, please make sure to subscribe. Um, and also, if you know of anyone who would also enjoy this type of content, if you could please go ahead and share this video with them. I really am trying to grow this channel, guys, and I would appreciate all of your help. Um, if you really are enjoying this type of content, please uh, make sure to subscribe and share, comment, thumbs up. Um, all of that really, really helps me out. Um, also, if you are not following me, on Instagram, please make sure to do so. I am at cat718 underscore. Um, I do uh, post a lot of decor pictures there for um, every holiday and every season. So I will be posting um, pictures of the apartment uh, pretty soon. So make sure to um, go ahead and follow me. And yeah, guys, so um, again, I really hope you enjoy this video and um, definitely stay tuned because coming up right now, you guys are going to get to see the apartment um, at nighttime and see how spooky um, it looks. So I really hope you guys enjoy that and I will see you soon. Bye.